Hello everyone, this is Line, and you're watching Learn with Line. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a product with variable sizes. So in this case, uh, or variable options, I should say, in this case, it's sizes. So I have a shirt here with different sizes available. Um, so in order to do that, let's get to the dashboard inside of WordPress and go to WooCommerce and go to your products. And if you hover over products, you'll see a button that says Add New. And uh, like my blue shirt that you just saw as an example, we're going to create one called Heather Gray Shirt. I forgot if gray is with an A or an E, but I'm going to go with E. And we'll just give it a quick uh, description here. Heather Gray Shirt looks great all the time. And then a short description down below. It's a Heather Gray Shirt. Okay, and then we'll put in a uh, placeholder image. So let's find our images here. All right, got a bunch of images. I'll upload all of them, and then I'll choose the one that I want uh, once they all upload. All right, the other ones are still loading. Almost there. All right, there we go. So we have the uh, the one we want checked off, and we're going to click uh, Set Product Image. Very good. Um, I'm just going to publish this real quick, so this way it creates the product right away. And note on the right here, it says Product Categories. Uh, there originally, which said uncategorized, I had added my own, um, but now I'm going to uh, check the box for shirts. I'll hit update one more time. Uh, putting a category is all up to you. Uh, it all depends on what you want to sell in your store. Um, but this is just a little side info I'm just showing you for, of things that you can add. Uh, but continuing on, um, let's go back to my store real quick, and we're going to click on the shirts tab. And you'll see now I have my blue shirt, which has uh, $10 to $13 because of the different sizes. But this shirt only has the one size, um, or one shirt available, and no price yet. So in order to add on the options, what you have to do is you have to go into your product again. And on the left side under product data, um, you're going to go to a little side tab over here that says attributes. And we're going to add a custom product attribute. So we're going to click Add. And then we're going to type in what the uh, attribute is going to be called. So in this case, it's going to be Sizes. And we're going to put Small. Oh, hold on. Let me just read the little instructions here. It says Enter some text or some attributes. Uh, and then by using the special line icon that's on your keyboard, which is uh, on the same key as um, backslash, so you have to hold shift and then uh, the backslash and it'll give you that like line. So now we're going to put the sizes in, so we're going to do small, medium, large, and extra large. And then we're going to click uh, save attributes. All right, now it's saved. Oh, and now we are going to look at this uh, little thing up here. It says product data. It says simple product. And because it's variables, uh, it's going to have variables uh, such as options for, in this case, shirt sizes. We're going to choose variable product from the list here. And where we have the attributes and it says sizes, uh, you're going to see an extra checkbox that's going to show up. So you didn't see it before when it was under simple product, but when you put, switch it to variable product, it gives you a checkbox that says used for variations. So we're going to click that checkbox for that, and then we're going to click save attributes one more time. And you could have, have chosen that variable product uh, drop down right away, um, but I just wanted to show you what happens when you don't do it. And then now, after we've uh, added those attributes, there's a new uh, 
sidebar menu item that came up when we switched this to a variable product, which says variations. And when you click on that, it has a little drop down that says add variation. You could just click go if you wanted to, but I wouldn't. Uh, because you have multiple uh, vari or you it says here, create variations from all attributes. Um, so you have multiple attributes for your mere variation, which is the sizes. So we're going to create variations from all attributes. Let's go. And it's going to be a little pop-up that says, are you sure you want to link all variations? This will create a new variation for each and every possible combination of variation attributes, max 50 per run. So if you click OK, then it'll populate the shirt sizes. So this way you have your small, medium, large, and extra large. And one of the cool things is is that in the attributes tab where we were before with the sizes, there's also the option where you could add in like colors or uh, thread type or something like that. So if you want to have like uh, extra menu options, so right now it just says small, medium, large, and extra large, you get some extra drop down menu options which would also say uh, like the color or the thread type. Um, so now you have these different options and if you hover over each of the options you're going to see uh, this little menu icon and a little arrow and a remove button. So if you just click on the um, the row, which would be the same as clicking on the arrow, it'll drop down and it'll expose some additional data. So in here, that's where you're going to put in your SKU, your regular price, sale price, stock status, so if it's in stock or not in stock. And you can uh, you can even put it on back order. And um, so it's got the weight, dimensions, shipping class, and description. So each one can have its own description. Uh, and, it, you know, this isn't just for shirts. You can sell whatever products you want. And if each one has a special var variation, then you can put that variation in here. So we uploaded our shirts. So we're going to click on the media library. And I'm just going to put in each of my different shirts images in here. And this way you can see um, what it'll be. And I'm also going to put a price or see how it looks when it's done. And so now we're going to add medium. We'll make this one $11. And we'll go down to large. We'll add the large. Then we'll go down to extra large. And this will be the last variation. And make that one $13. And click Save Changes. Do, 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 do. And just so you know, uh, my internet connection is a little slow right now, so hopefully when you do your own uh, additions of uh, your product, it won't be as slow as my speed. Hopefully it'll be faster. Once you're all done, just make sure you click Update. And then we'll tab back over to the live storefront so you can see the change has occurred. So now it's uh, it's updated. We'll go back to the page. I'm going to hit Control R to refresh the page, or I can hit the uh, refresh button at the top here. See, and voila! Now we have our different sizes, and it shows you that the price is uh, goes from ten dollars to thirteen dollars depending on the variation that you choose. So now we've got small, and that's $10. And you see that the image has changed. Um, then you go to medium, that's $11. Large, $12. And extra large. All right. And you also have like the description down there that we had added before too. All right. Well, I hope that uh, helps you out. And maybe you can start adding some products of your own to your own WordPress WooCommerce site and get some sales. All right, good luck. If you guys have any uh, questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below this video. And if you like the video, click like, and I hope you subscribe. I look forward to talking with you next video. This is Lion, and you're watching Learn with Lion.